Do you want me to say it's not Margot? No. That makes me feel happy. I would like to tell you all we put them in really big glasses to develop the bouquet and to age them faster, but now it's to have more. To have more quickly before he gets it all. <laughs> so you think uh, they are pretty good wines? Uh, they are damn good wines. <laughs> Excuse my language. But we had damn good wines three weeks ago. Yes, we did. We had first growth three weeks uh -huh. ago. Yeah. Are these as good as those? They're in. They're, they're getting up there. Okay. They may be up there. Uh huh. Um, but you know, there's serious quality here. If if they turn out to be one or two of them first growths or more, mm -hmm. yeah, I can buy that. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. All right. So the first wine. Ta -dun, ta -dun. It's the Chateau Lafitte Rothschild. Lafitte. 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 Okay. The vintage? 1995. 95 is an interesting vintage. It's very old, as you know, mm -hmm. but an interesting vintage it was quite a warm vintage. Jay, you're spoiling us. <laughs> Who deserves these kind of things? <laughs> you deserve it. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Man. That's why we haven't been spitting, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> you haven't been spitting for a long time. <laughs> And, 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 and the more the wine sits in the glass, uh -huh. I swear to you, the more it sits in the glass, the, the cassis and those kind of things come out. I did not find the cassis in the beginning. Mm -hmm. It was so difficult. Mm -hmm. Here it is. <laughs> Lafitte is an interesting Arguably, Lafitte is, in many vintages, maybe even most, the class act of the entire five. La Tour tends to show best in slightly lesser vintages. Otherwise, it tends to be too powerful. So, <laughs> Lafitte. <laughs> Why do you put the bottle just in front of you? Oh, I put it... <laughs> <laughs> he noticed that. I was just checking whether he was sober or not. <laughs> wow, what a treat. <laughs> Actually, no, no, I'll... Um, you want to have it in a bigger glass. In a, a bigger glass. Yeah. All right. Then number two. Yeah. Chateau Aubryon. 1996. 1996 started off as going to be a fantastic vintage and in the end it wasn't as good as 95 it was going to be more classic and right at the end it did not because 95 was warm mm -hmm. and 96 should have been better but in the end it turned out to be a good vintage a very good vintage but just miss greatness mm -hmm. i love aubryon <laughs> i know <laughs> But in this case, I actually prefer the Lafitte. Yeah, I agree. For me, there is more subtlety in Lafitte. I agree. For today. This one is quite four square. It's very tannic. Number three? Number three, powerful again. Big tannin. Poyac. Mm -hmm. A tannic vintage. All of these ones have to have tannin for sure. Yeah. Okay. Number three. Number three. Chateau Latour, 2001. It's um, a lesser vintage than 95 and 96. Mm -hmm. It's a vintage that has improved over time because it started off with not a great rating. But you did a very, very good thing. Remember what I said earlier? Latour tends to show better in the slightly lesser vintages. Mm -hmm. 2001, slightly lesser vintage. It's for myself. Right. Beautiful, <laughs> beautiful nose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, beautiful nose. Mm. Just beautiful. <laughs> Scary shit. All right. <laughs> and then number four. Number four. So can you guess today's theme? <laughs> you did it again. I can't believe you did it again. Number four for me is Margot. Today's title is Déjà Vu. Déjà Vu, okay, yeah. that makes sense. <laughs> mm. This savoriness, I love this. Mm. 
I think number four is Margo. Now we'd have to figure out a vintage. I tried to get older vintages because yeah. last time you complained about <laughs> <laughs> young vintages. <laughs> yeah. Um. Number four. So you think uh, they are all the <laughs> first growth? Yeah, I do now. <laughs> right. now, I, now I do. <laughs> okay. And then this is a Chateau Margot. Yeah. 98. Okay. 98. Obviously, we need to wait a little bit more for this wine because of the vintages you've showed so far, probably 98 is the best. I see. Do <laughs> we have lots of Just wine a tiny here. drop. Thank you. <laughs> because you want to pour in bigger glasses later. Yeah, right? yeah. But okay. I want it. I want it. <laughs> 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 And this has to be Mouton. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Do you know that Mouton did not become a first growth until 1972 or something like that? The Baron Rothschild from Mouton said up until that time, because they were only the four first growths. He said, first I cannot be, second I will not be, for I am Mouton. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I remember the saying. <laughs> it was a great saying, right? He was confident of his quality, of his commitment. Jeez, Jay, I don't want to look at your bank balance before and after this. <laughs> I think I should leave at your home. <laughs> I should I think stay so. here. I think you should stay here because you can't afford both this and a place to live. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know what you can afford, but it seems to me you have either this or a place to live. One of the two. You're right. <laughs> That's the reason why I called my wife to come here. <laughs> so, the fifth one. So, wait, let, let's think of the vintage, right? All right. Give me a little more, please. <laughs> Just to be sure of the vintage. All right. That's plenty, thanks. We have plenty of wine. Yeah. As always. Are you enjoying this? No. <laughs> no. no. I, I want to go back to drinking. Cidre. Cidre or the bourbon barrel aged ones, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, really, we gotta go there. We gotta go there. <laughs> Very tannic vintage, fruit still hiding. So, wine number five. <laughs> this, this can't be entre de mer. <laughs> <laughs> no, it cannot. <laughs> right. Wine number five is Mouton Rochild, 98. 98. Again, 98. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I double decanted all of these. Okay. That's so. why they're so screwed up. <laughs> <laughs> no, you did right because they're still not ready to drink. Uh -huh. But they will be in an hour. <laughs> <laughs> they will be in an hour. <laughs> And even if they're not, we'll force it. All right. We'll force ourselves to drink them. <laughs> and then tomorrow, I'll spend the day in bed. <laughs> Jay, you're a maniac. You think uh, so? Yeah. But it's, it's very, very interesting in that these great, 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 great wines, mm -hmm. they do not deliver of themselves. You have to woo them. Mm -hmm. You have to make love to them. You have to wait for them, cajole them, encourage them to deliver of their best. That is true. I that mean, I can't believe now that when I tasted these wines, I was battling to decide whether they were Chianti <laughs> or not. <laughs> but you were battling because the wines were not open yet. Right. right? The wines were closed. And, and I realize now, I mean, you double decanted them, which was the right thing. Should have triple decanted them. <laughs> no, because you don't do these wines any favors when there's so much bottled up and compressed into these wines. It just cannot give immediately of its best. And even though by comparison to most wines that are like over the hill by this time, Bordeaux, class growth Bordeaux, Grand Cru Bordeaux, Premier Grand Cru Classé Bordeaux, at that level, of course, because there's only these five, it's just getting into its stride. So on the last session, I prepared younger vintages of the first growth of Bordeaux. And I wanted to show how they taste when they just got open 
and we showed that the wines were not ready. They're still not. <laughs> <It's true. laughs> Why do I say that? Because three weeks from now, I want him to bring five older first stuff. <laughs> <laughs> There's a method to my madness. Cheers, Jay. Cheers. You're a maniac. Is that a compliment? Yeah. yeah. In this particular instance, absolutely. It's a compliment. All right, thank you. Loved all the wines. Yeah. But my least favorite wine mm -hmm. was the Aubryon. Uh -huh. And usually it's my favorite wine. Uh huh. This Aubryon is plumier than the others for me. I find it medicinal, slightly medicinal. Uh -huh. It's kind of ungenerous. Yeah, 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 right. Listen to me complaining about these great wines. <laughs> I feel very bad. So you want to prepare bigger glasses now? I do. I'll wait for you. I drink this. I have my bigger glasses in my car. Oh, you do? Yeah, but I didn't want to use the bigger glasses because it would be so Obvious. So obvious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so intentionally I borrowed your uh, smaller glasses. You're such a devious character. <laughs> yeah. Let's make a fire and start barbecuing because otherwise I fall over. <laughs> right. What? We have to do our ending. Oh, let's... let's... <laughs> <laughs> I don't really want to leave you guys, not while these great wines are open, but we'll be back. <laughs> Whenever I prepare some good wines he, or excellent wines, you forget about ending. <laughs> that's right, I forget about the ending because I don't want it to end, because I love hanging out with you guys. But Jay's getting better and better than what he does, so... <laughs> <laughs> you mean preparing... <laughs> First growths every three weeks? No. No, no, no I, I don't want to do that. <laughs> Nobody in the world is doing what we just did today. It's, it's, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's debauchery at the highest level. I right. love it. <laughs> you love it? Yeah. <laughs> All right, great. I wanted to show you how first growth Bordeaux age in 20 or 20 plus years but he didn't <laughs> because they don't that's true but i don't have enough money for another <laughs> three weeks peter <laughs> he needs to work harder every three weeks we want first growths we want first growths come we want first growths and we want all the first growths <laughs> Don't let him get away with this. <laughs> Shortchanging us. <laughs> and you know what, Peter? When I bought the previous first girl, I bought them together. Oh, you bought them? Uh, well, he's got money, you see. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now we know that he says he doesn't have money. That's not true. We want first growth. <laughs> 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 So guys, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe. And uh, leave a love. Huh? No, no, no. We, we lot, lots of loves on this one. Yeah. This was probably going to be a little longer than usual, but if you can't make a little bit more time for first growths, <laughs> it's on you. <laughs> then uh, we could show more, more interesting things to you. Bourbon aged. <laughs> $1.99 California Cabernet. You ready for that? <laughs> Bourbon barrel, I should have said. Yeah. That's the circle of the life. Look, I have to throw away all the stuff I spat. Oh, it's empty. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Oh, thank you. That was awesome. Oh, my goody goodness. Yeah? We better start cooking, Joe, before I fall over, but right. that was spectacular. Oh my God. What I've learned is when we are drinking wines of this caliber, we have to give it a few more minutes in the glass. Mm -hmm. They were all savory. They were closed. These things don't lie. But in the middle of the tasting, you also told that it wouldn't be strange even if they are first growth Bordeaux. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I did. But yeah. It took a while to, to kind of get there. The reason why I did double decanting was to eliminate the sediment. Also, but double decanting to get the air on them. 
yeah. because these ones need more time. Mm -hmm. But I didn't want to give too much air because if it lacks a little bit air, then we can just wait to enjoy them. Exactly. Now we don't want to wait. <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go and get, you've got bigger glasses. Yeah. Let me go and get bigger glasses. Okay. I just want to tell Valerie, Valerie, another five first glasses. So, tomorrow morning you have an appointment with your friends at 7.30. Yeah, which may not happen. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it will, maybe it won't. <laughs> right. You want me to decant them, right? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, all right. If you decant them, you don't take them out. <laughs> <laughs> So happy. <laughs> yeah, everybody's happy now. What do you want to drink? The mouton. Mouton. I like the label. Yeah. I'm pouring the wine into decanters because I've already double decanted them. There is no sediment. Just clean wine. The Chateau Margot. La Fitte. <laughs> so Chateau La Fitte was shared. It's decanted. No sediment. No sediment. Okay, they're all decanted. Valerie, okay. help yourself whatever you want. Yeah. <laughs> A new wine. What did he do with mine? Did he throw it away? He, <laughs> he emptied it into his body. <laughs> I got all the sediment when I decanted, double decanted those wines. You drank all the sediment? Yeah, yeah absolutely you should. Yeah. I drank all the sediment right after lunch. Absolutely you should do that. Yeah. It was delicious. Absolutely. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. They are all decanted, so please help right. yourself. I will <laughs> certainly do that. <laughs> Latour. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Not for you. <laughs> we share it maybe. <laughs> And then Chateau Margot. I'll, I'll get Great there. blending. <laughs> <laughs>이럴 땐이 와인 네이버 밴드로 놀러 오시면 와인을 잘 몰라도 편하고 싸게 사실 수 있도록 제가 많이 도와드립니다. 다들 만족하시고 좋아하시더라고요.